A Maryland congressman and retired Army colonel is calling for criminal justice reform in the military and more diversity in its leadership. Congressman Anthony Brown arguing, quote, the current military justice system has put service members of color at a disadvantage and left them subject to a commander controlled system they do not trust. Here to react, Army veteran and Texas congressional candidate Wesley Hunt. Wesley, thanks so much for being here. So do you know, black and brown service members mistrust their commanders and the military justice system? Short answer is no. And the way for us to end racism is not by teaching and indoctrinating reverse racism. And again, this is another push from the left to continue to divide this country based on racial lines. We're seeing it in politics. If you're a Republican, then you're inherently racist. We're seeing it with critical race theory. We're seeing it now with our military. They are attacking us, and you and I both know, Pete, that our military is in fact a meritocracy, and the only thing mm -hmm. that matters is the man and woman to your left and your right in accomplishing the mission that our country gives to us. A meritocracy with standards that everyone are, yes. is expected to follow, black, white, mm -hmm. colonel, or private. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Here's yes. another portion uh, of the op-ed, an excerpt from it, that I think shines a little bit of light on where he's coming from. It says, the current mm -hmm. military justice system is not serving our country's higher values of justice, equity, and fairness. And there it is. It's that it, it's not, everything has gone from equality to equity, which is a very different word. It's an equal outcome versus equal opportunity. Uh, and it, it, do you see that seeping into the way military now sees it, subordinates and commanders? Well, unfortunately, it, it is. And when we were in the military, performance is what mattered. It didn't matter what you looked like. Uh, uh, my sister went to West Point. I went to West Point, and so did my brother. We could all speak to what service means to us personally, and it had nothing to do with what we looked like. But I also think that this is actually a push to defund our military. We are, we've divided mm. our country by trying to defund the police, and I think the next push is, is a defund the military, defund the DOD push, and where does it end? And that's why it's very important for us to take back the House here in 2022 to stop this push. You know, I had a black battalion commander in Iraq, a black S3 in, yeah. in my battalion. Yeah, that, that, none of that was at issue or of even conversation when it pertained to his authority to make decisions about, you know, Lieutenant Hegseth and, and my conduct. Uh, it, it, uh, yeah. Considering where we've come as a country, would you say the military today is... Setting this aside, this whole idea of criminal justice reform, a less racist institution than it used to be, is it more of a meritocracy than it's ever been without this critical race theory nonsense? Just ask my father. My father is a retired lieutenant colonel, and he came up in the military during the 70s and the 80s, and I understand that during that time, culturally, we were at a different place. The argument that we are more racist now than we were then is absolutely ridiculous. We have certainly evolved. We have certainly now gotten to, to a point where we focus more on the merit and the content of one's character in our military, and that's actually why we've gotten so far, and we've come so far in such a really short period of time. So again, this is again, it's a power grab for the left to divide this country That's right. based on race. We've got to stop this. Maybe it's because we've come so far that they now want to <laughs> tear it down even more. So maybe you will be in the halls of Congress able to take on legislation like this very soon. Wesley Hunt, thank you so much. We will be. Thank you, sir. You God bless it. you. Thank you.